Yes, it's me, Perry Milo, the pop artist again, and I have another free art lesson for you at Art in the Carolinas. When we last left off, we were working on this new version, a new modern version of Where the Wild Things Are, and I was telling you the story of Max and Carol in Max's journey into the Polynesian Gauguin-like village that has been created into a new movie. Now, appropriations in art have always taken place, and I would say one of the most famous ones in pop art, since I'm a pop artist, is Andy Warhol appropriating a Campbell's soup can. So, I'm somewhat going to appropriate these characters, these monsters, from Sendak's story, Where the Wild Things Are, into uh, a Picasso-like creature, maybe use some Gauguin colors later on, and uh, Peter Max it or Warhol it out with some flat strokes in the end. So I'm going to continue painting right now. Uh, I'm still going to use gestural strokes like we were before. Now you can also use linear when you're starting and that's going to break down a plane. So this is a linear plane, a linear stroke. You can see my paint is thin. It's a purple wash and it's a nice drag on this beautiful linen canvas. So that creates a ground. Now, in the photo that I'm using for reference, this Polynesian background that Gauguin might have had, there's a water or a river running through this right here that goes right up to the ankle or the foot of Carol the creature. So I'm just identifying that a little bit more. So we already have two planes. There's a third plane. Well, actually, there's a ship right here. And this is kind of what reminded me a little bit of uh, Surratt or Sorot's famous paintings. He did lots of ships in the pointillistic style. And Surratt was very famous for the pointillism. So I'm putting this ship in here. It looks like a boat that might have been sailing to shore. You can see I drag again. I'm dragging. Now this ship is off in the distance so I have to look at the distinct relation between the monster and the ship. And I'm seeing right now that maybe it's a little too big. So I could pare that down. And in the beginning of your work, it's easy to make changes if you made a mistake. I'll just pare that down. Also, look at this. A big tree comes in all the way down in front of the tree. So I'm breaking shapes down. I'm creating my composition, but I'm not making too many decisions right now. I love these trees. These almost have like a uh, Henri Rousseau feel to them. I feel that when I looked at the film and it brought back the memories from the book, uh, it reminded me of a lot about French Impressionism. So maybe uh, Maurice Sendak was inspired by that, but that's what inspired me through his story. I'm grabbing more paint, and you can see this is a nice wash I'm using. I'm throwing that in there, and I paint graphically, which is perfect for a match with a kid's story or something, illustrational. I pull that down. Now, through the river, there's also another break, another horizon line, maybe even a fourth one that starts to show some mountains. We have more trees in the background, and you could decide where to put them. I mean, I'm using this reference, but you could go any way with this. You could put a tree here. You could put a little tree here. You could put flowers down here. Use your imagination. Use your creativity. There's no rules in this. There's no rhyme. There's no reason. This is a little bit of a different type of tree. So I'm firing in uh, maybe some little different throngs or leaves. There's a giant tree here in the background uh, that has a lot of shapes and we might go into like a pointillism style there to show you that and here's this branch coming down. So this is Milo the pop artist continuing with where the wild things are appropriation pop free art lesson painting. Wow was that a tongue twister can you say that? I can't say that again forget about it. That's what Gandolfini would say forget about it. Uh, I will be back with part three of this please check out my free art lessons, my DVDs, my website, that's perrymilo, M-I-L-O-U dot com.